Good morning and welcome to Old St. Mary's Church. My name is Olivia Mastari and I am in the second grade state room here at Old St. Mary's School. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. It is the first week of Easter. Our Mass is being celebrated today in the honor of Jeremy Mark. Please stand and join us in our opening song, Jesus Christ Has Risen Today, on page number 614, page number 614. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Hey, Happy Easter. It's nice to see everybody. I don't get too often to, to be here with the school mass, um, but it's such a pleasure to be with you all on this uh, special octave of Easter. So we get a full uh, eight days of Easter where we're going to keep singing Alleluia all the time because we're still celebrating. But first, uh, brothers and sisters, let's take a moment to uh, acknowledge our sins and trust that God is always loving and always merciful. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to sinners. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, Grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for the certain 
that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart. And they asked Peter and the other apostles, What shall I do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and your children and to all those far off. Whomever the Lord our God will call, he testified with many other arguments and was exhorting. Exhort. Save yourselves from this corrupt generation those who accepted this message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The hand of the Lord has struck with power. God's right hand is exalted. I shall not. rejoice and be glad the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone the Lord of love and mercy has brought wonder to our eyes this is the day the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad has made let us rejoice and be glad
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener, and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. An important lesson in our gospel today, that first of all, everyone, when it comes to spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, to spreading the good news and the love of God to all people, no one is replaceable. We're all part of an unbroken chain that goes back 2,000 years of one person who saw Jesus Christ risen from the dead, who told another person, who told another person, who told another person. And it didn't just go around the world, it went around the world for all of these centuries, right? And what that means is, because it's one person telling another person telling another person, you can't pull out one of those links in the chain without disrupting, without stopping the message from spreading. And the same applies to all of us here. Jesus Christ, still to this day, although he probably could do it some other way, has chosen each of us to continue being a link in that chain. People who will go about witnessing and spreading the good news in a way that only you individually can do. That is to say, there is something about each of you that God has designed and created and delights in and loves very much that he knows is well suited to spread the good news to somebody else. That's the truth. Now, something we have to do sometimes is emphasize how true this is for particular groups and people who sometimes might not uh, be as validated or might be ignored or not as lifted up, right? That's very important. Because not only do we have an important witness today in the person of Mary Magdalene, we have yet another example that the gospel of the Lord could not happen without people listening to the witness of women, women and girls. That's so important. Even if we go back to the birth of Jesus, right? The Holy Spirit comes to Mary and tells her she's going to bear a son by the Holy Spirit. This is amazing, right? According to the law, Joseph could then divorce her. But instead, he listened to Mary's witness saying, hey, God has spoken to me and our son is going to be born in this way, right? Without people attending to that, listening to that, acknowledging and honoring that, the gospel does not continue in this same way. And so likewise, when we think of Mary Magdalene, what we want to realize, she is the first person that Jesus chose to appear to. Think of how special that is. There is, again, God picks us each individually. There's something about Mary Magdalene. Perhaps the fact that she's 
there. She's faithful. She never left his side. But there's something about Mary Magdalene that he trusts, he entrusts to share the gospel message that Jesus is risen from the dead, right? So there's like this whole period of time where effectively Mary Magdalene is the whole church on earth. The whole church on earth is one person who knows that Jesus is risen from the dead, and that person is Mary Magdalene. So, again, every single person is an irreplaceable link in the chain. And to honor this as best we can, we need to remember to always honor the witness, the life, the virtue, the faith of women and girls. Friends, let us stand and take our prayers and petitions to our loving God who hears all of our prayers. For the old St. Mary's community, that during this Easter season, we may continue to support one another and offer a helping hand in these times of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who join the church this Easter, may they find strength in God's grace and support in the community as they continue to grow as members of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the first communicants, as we start our Eucharistic journey this Easter season, May we continue to grow closer to Jesus in the church, and may God be with us always and everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world leaders, that they work in solidarity with each other to protect those who are most vulnerable and most in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the violence caused by harsh words or indifference, may our homes, nation, and countries around the world become havens of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that their memory will live on in their loved one's heart. For those who are sick, may God's healing protection be upon them. Today we remember Jeremy Mark, whom this Mass is being said for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the attentions that we hold in the silence of our heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, O good and loving Father, to hear our prayers. We make them through Christ our Lord. Thank you. Let's sing number 635, Be My Hands and Feet, number 635. Touch that soothes and heals the hurting Hands that break a loaf of bread Steps that walk beside the weary Bearing burdens in their stead See my hands and feet, said Jesus Love arisen from the grave My hands and feet, said Jesus, live as one. Live 
as once I died to save. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit ones in need of care. Give the homeless warmth and shelter, Christ will find a welcome there. See my hands and feet, said Jesus, love arisen from the grave. Be my hands and feet said Jesus live as once I died to save love and serve without distinction all others people first and least Know within each act of kindness, hope and wholeness are increased. See my hands and feet, said Jesus, love arisen from the grave. Be my hands and feet said Jesus live as once I died to save pray brothers and sisters my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace everybody. Peace to you, peace to me.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let's sing number 631, Joyous Cup, number 631. Children, take a stand. Hallelujah. Come to milk and honey land. Hallelujah. Christ has died and death is dead. Earth and heaven boldly wed. Joyous cup and holy bread. Hallelujah. Stand straight and rivers flee, hallelujah. Mountains skip like lambs to see, hallelujah. Christ has died and death is dead, earth and heaven boldly wed, joyous cup and holy bread, hallelujah. see God's face, hallelujah. Flint shall flow with water's grace, hallelujah. Christ has died and death is dead, earth and heaven boldly wed, joyous cup and holy bread, hallelujah. Heaven sing, O oh, earth in tone, hallelujah. Death and hell now wail and groan, hallelujah. Christ has died and death is dead, earth and heaven holy red, joyous cup and holy bread, hallelujah. And Adam tell it plain, Hallelujah. All was lost, but more's the gain, Hallelujah. Christ is died, and death is dead. Earth and heaven holy red, joyous cup and holy bread. Hallelujah. God, our love, will long betrayed. Hallelujah. Passion has our wedding made. Hallelujah. Christ has died and death is dead. Earth and heaven, 
holy wed, joyous cup and holy bread. Hallelujah. Oh, a happy fault, oh, needful sin. Hallelujah. Oh, Christ our Savior, Christ our kin, hallelujah. Christ has died and death is dead, earth and heaven boldly wed, joyous cup and holy bread, hallelujah. Proclaim a jubilee, hallelujah. Neither rich nor poor shall be, hallelujah. Christ has died and death is dead, earth and heaven holy wed, joyous cup and holy bread, hallelujah. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. And let's sing number 609. Sing with all the saints in glory. Number 609. Welcome waits 
Give it. 